Hello guys, welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, the Sith Lords. Man, this is loud. Um, so here we are, in the Mandalorian base. And why do I not have a lightsaber? I think I got, it got unequipped. What, oh yeah, I had green and a blue one, didn't I? Must have got unequipped. Um, oh, not a fire blade. From when we were doing the, the battling here. Um, we're not going to do any more of that this episode. I want to explore, because, take a look, battle circle, yeah, that was that, um, so many we got, price of passage, um, this is what we have to do then, to get to the city of Isis, which is on Onderon, um, we need to help out Mandalore, so we need to ask around camp, and um, what's this, uh, yeah, so basically prove ourselves to Mandalorians, what's, what's this over here, a metal box, Yeah, let's go in. Oh, there's a spaceship in there. Or is that the shuttle? Let's take a look in here. Um, I presume the battle circle. This looks like the the ship that Bastila used in when she came to attack you. Mandalorian shuttle. It is the shuttle then. Okay. It looks like the ship that Bastila used when she came to fight us on the strange um what was the planet it was a strange was it just unknown planet or strange planet or something like that whatever that planet was the one with the temple and the weird catacomb people whatever they were called but i think um if you do the the battle circle it does actually get you prestige i think but we did some of that last episode let's uh let's go this way i guess because uh, that was a dead end See if we can go and explore the jungle, because we didn't didn't we have to help out with some explosions or something? Oh, there's some more fighting going on over here. What are these dudes doing? I want to talk to the yellow guy. Mandalorian recruit. Hello. I might. Are you sure he's dead? If Kumas wasn't dead, he'd be back already. If you find his body, just bring it back. Um, why do you want the body? Mm, good point. I don't want his body, just his equipment. Field strip the corpse and bring the gear back. Okay. Let's do it. So we've got to help this guy. Get his... It's not really his friend, is it? Get his, uh person's body back. Oh, what's this? Sparking. Broken wires. Sparking wires look dangerous. You could trigger... They could trigger an electrical surge at any moment. It would be best to keep your distance. Hey, guy. Alright. Stand back. Let's see if that... Sith's blood! Fixing anything in this rot infested place is an uphill battle. Oh, my. Okay. <laughs> Maybe that was meant to happen a minute ago while we were watching it. I'm pretty um I'm pretty good with hyper hydro spanner. I'll take whatever help I can get. Whatever wires and tech haven't been corroded by the jungle or at least ten years old. What's the problem? I'm trying to get the relay dish operational, but several components are broken and need repair. Without the relay, we're vulnerable to attack, especially right now. Your space metal may have attracted unwanted attention, and our shuttle sensors can't cover the whole then let's get to work fixing it. Oh, it. Seems just about everything involved with a relay dish is broken. I've been trying to fix it for weeks and still no success. I can take a look at it, if you will permit it. If you think you can help, there's the broken cables right over there, and the relay maintenance structures behind me. You can find the telemetry computer in there. The only thing I know for sure is we need a new phase pulse converter for the tracking computer. Where can I find one of them? That part's rare enough in most space sports. Finding one here would be difficult. We actually already found one in an old weapons cache, but flaming cannox ate it. <laughs> okay. We checked the cache manifests, and that's the only one that was in storage. It's probably the only working converter on this moon. 
Um. Just gut. Every canok you come across. You wouldn't believe the things you can find in those little beasts. Uh, okay. Alright then. Come back when you have the converter and we can see about getting these systems working again. We can go about shit though. That was, um, just not any words coming out of my mouth there, was it? I was meant to be an impression and it just turned to goop. Okay, so I, I go what's over here? There's, there's, it looks like a shop. Hey, Kex, you're injured. You hear the gloat over your victories in the battle circle. Save it for someone else. So why are you back? Oh, did I beat you in the battle circle? Let's see what you have. I doubt there'll be anything I want. Doesn't look like it. Uh, okay. So, let's, I guess, go into the jungle. We got a few things to do in the jungle. To help out. Wait, is it this way? <laughs> That's confusing on the map. I can't see the blue the blue line. Oh, my. I oh, see these dudes that, um... challenge you here, outside of the battle circle. This time, we fight to the death. I, um... Okay. You would deny my request? I want to fight here, in front of other Mandalorians, to prove my worth. Do not shame me further. Fine, I'll cut your head off. Now you face a true Mandalorian on the field of battle. And full storm. Why have they gone invisible? What? Why are they invisible? Am I gonna get in trouble for this? I feel like I'll get in trouble for this. Let's go this way. We haven't been this way yet. A canuck. Hello. It's a Kanuk and, um, Daxter. Oh, another one. Kill him! Why do they keep going invisible? What's going on? I feel like I'm gonna get in trouble for killing that guy. I'm trying to help out Mandalore and I've killed one of his guys. Can, did he drop anything? What the hell is that thing? I'm gonna wreck you. Have it. Let me handle this. Right. Now we can actually check if they dropped anything. No. Did you guys drop anything over here? So you rubbish. Didn't drop anything. Be something to do around here. All right. So, so what we're looking for? We're looking for some bombs, I think, to detonate them. We're looking for canucks to get the the thing to fix the the dish thing, and we're looking for a Mandalorian body. That's and this place is like a maze. Another one. Kill him. Right, you guys drop anything? Remains. Did we get it? That's a part of it. I think it, it looks a part of it because it said power after it. Which tells me there's more parts. In fact, let's check. Um, you found a part of... A Face pulse con uh, converter. You don't know how many more pieces you need. Oh, great. <laughs> um, that's the dish. And that's the dead body. No problem. This looks like... You see a... It's, it's used to set off charges. Do it. Oh, did that make him angry? I don't like the sound of that. I 
think you've just stirred up a mine off nest. Let's do it. Oh my god, look at the size of that thing. It's a boomer beast. This won't take long. Oh, so the door's been blown off that now. This won't take long. So we can actually go in. Wasn't there another one as well? When we first um, came into the jungle, there was another one of these things that we couldn't go in because it was magnetically sealed, I believe, or something like that. You guys leveled up. You're going to auto-level. Remains. Nothing particularly great. But let's have a look in here. Deadly plasma mine. Oh my god, that, that was creepy when that loaded in. I don't know what that was. <laughs> Ready? Can you pick up the mines, please? God, this is creepy. I should really do something with these mines. I should either um, sell them for credits, although I've got so many credits and I've got nothing to buy. I should either sell them for credits or um, break them down into parts and build something. That is one big droid. Is this just a room? There's no... The map's really weird in here. I wonder if we can activate these droids. There's so many! I want to activate the big one. <laughs> the big one. Okay. What can I do? Oh, you can actually react. Bash droid. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. That was not a good idea. They're all awake. That was amazing. That was awesome. At least they don't have guns. I think if they had guns, they could actually kill us. Okay, did they drop anything? It doesn't look like they dropped anything. We, but we got this. We've got all of these containers to take a look at. So, uh... Let's do it. Possible. What? Why? I don't know why that's impossible. I couldn't bash it either, and the spikes didn't work. So I'm not, not quite sure what's going on there. Maybe we'll just uh, ignore that one. Unless we have to come back and do something to it. I don't know. Plasma grenade. <laughs> Just one plasma grenade. Great. Oh, is this going to be an impossible one again? What? I don't... Let's just ignore them. Oh, I pressed pause back. They either... Something to do with a quest. Or they're just there for decoration. Although if they're there for decoration, I don't know why you can even interact with them. Because there's plenty of stuff in this game that you, you feel like you should be able to get into. There's, there's, what, there's things that look exactly like this and you can't actually get into them. But there's no reason why we should interact with them, so I don't know. Let's, uh, can we do it again? <laughs> no. Okay, well let's uh, keep on exploring the jungle. We are coming to the end of the episode, but let's uh, see if we can kill some canucks or something before we end the episode. Very weird planet, isn't it? It's all caves and here's a Daxter. <laughs> I love his axe, it's ridiculous. Oh no, not this again. Oh no. I can't walk guys. 
Well, I think that marks the end of our episode then. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And next episode, we'll be back exploring some more of the jungle. And hopefully, I'll be able to move. So, until then, goodbye.